back to India about five years back from US. And uh, when I moved back, I want to understand some of the fundamental problems that are impacting the uh, you know, people in India and how tech can actually help um, solve those problems. Not necessarily in water, but fundamentally, you know, what problems can be solved. Right. So I actually did a six-month uh, pro bono exercise, um, you know, uh, for the government, and traveled across the state. Uh, met a lot of farmers, agricultural laborers, truck drivers, administrators, so on and so forth, just to understand, you know, uh, what is impacting them. And then uh, you realize that the scale of uh, problem in water is quite staggering. So that's kind of when I, you know, got interested in uh, solving this uh, uh, water problem. And I was given the opportunity by the government of Andhra Pradesh to uh, work with them in developing this water resource information manual system, right? And that's kind of how we got started, uh, you know, towards this goal. So water is touched by about in anywhere between 12 and 16 departments or agencies between state government and central government. The first thing we decided we want to do is to bring all this water resource information into one authoritative platform both on the supply side as well as the demand side. So that is basically the first step we did and then we started building this decision support module so that you can actually plan and manage water better uh, for country, state, district and village level. In rain-fed uh, uh, area, right, places like Anandapur and uh, wherever there's actually lack of irrigation facilities, right? So what we have done, first thing we have done is we looked at the data, historical last 30 years worth of data, uh, the crop patterns, the rainfall patterns, the dry spell patterns, and also current year weather forecast, right? And then we actually raised a date of sowing, as in when you should sow crop, right? It's called data sowing advisory, right? for about 18,000 villages. Uh, so the saying farmer, you please, uh, you this is a convenient or conducive week to sow groundnut. And the result of that is, when your crop is uh, sown, you already made your investment, you already made your commitment that you're going to uh, grow this crop, right? You want to ensure that when the crop is flowering or, um, you know, or uh, uh, getting the pod into the ground, you want to make sure there's enough soil moisture so the crop can, the yield can you know, be reasonable, the crop can succeed. Okay, so what we are done by doing this data sowing advisory, we are ensuring the probability of crop being successful is the highest. Our goal for in the next 24 months is to have our system in most of the states in the country, right? Uh, but equally importantly, you know, with the government's Make in India program, we want to basically make this a success story for Make in India program, right? Not only implement the system in India, but also export the system, right, to all the developing countries, right, from India and Make in India uh, success story.